and welcome back to question 14 for grade 12 advanced. According to the figure, a uniform electric field, which is 360 newton per coulomb, that's perpendicular to the plane of one of the face of the cube, as you see here. If the electric flux passing through the left shaded face, which is this one here, is equal to minus 1.2 newton meter square per coulomb, what's the cube size? Length. So to start this, to start with the this answering this question, we need to define the known and the unknown. Flux and the electric field are given. We need to calculate the side of the of the cube, the length of the cube. So to start answering this question, we need to define the equation first that relate the flux, the electric field, and the area. Capital A stands for the area. Then, after finding out the area, we do the square root to find out the side of the of the square. As you know, area is equal side to the power of two in case of a square. So here we go. Area should be equal to the flux over E, which is 1.2 divided by 360. It's equal to 3.3 .3 by 10 to the power of minus 3. So that's the area of the square. But don't forget, we need to calculate the square. Sorry, we need to calculate the side of the square. So it's the square root of the area. So it's the square root of this, uh, of this value. And the answer is 0 0.058 meter.